Hundreds of people showed up to the Watertown School Board meeting last night. After a heated discussion, the board approved changes to the school's gender guidelines. Christina Van Zelst talked with the superintendent about those changes and what they look like. More than 700 people packed into the Riverside Middle School Monday night. Up for discussion, gender guidelines within the Watertown Unified School District. It's so stressful, you know, and for them to not be who they, they are. My biggest concern is the kids. Uh, well, I don't want to see any kids get hurt. I don't want to see any kids getting taken advantage of. The school board voted 8-1, to one, approving what it describes as Plan C that considers biological sex in bathroom assignments and sports. This is a big change culturally for our whole district. Going forward, students can only use bathrooms and locker rooms based on their sex assigned at birth. The same goes for sports. The plan does not require staff to use pronouns or names other than the student's legal name. The superintendent's office says 0.61% of students are transgender. We're going to do everything we can to keep them safe all of our students. The policy includes a gender support plan for transgender students. A parent or guardian is required to be part of that conversation. Whether that's uh, a support plan that uh, addresses just pronoun usage or if it addresses uh, restroom usage or sports or whatever, um, they have to have a meeting uh, with our, our transgender uh, support team. The superintendent says that it's still early. They are still figuring out how they're going to implement this new policy change, but that will happen in the coming weeks. Reporting in Watertown, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News.